वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द गैलेरियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन मींस ट्रांसफॉर्मेंट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन आर दोज इक्वेशन व्हिच कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म फ्रॉम वन कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम टू अनदर दिस आर द गोल कॉल्ड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द गैलेरियन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इक्वेशन the galilean tra transformation equations were feel was fail to transform uh, up one coordinate system to another coordinate uh, system for inertial frame of reference so this problem solved by lorentz and give the transformation equation known as the lorentz transformation equation so today we will discuss about the lorentz transformation equation Uh, in lorentz tra transformation equation suppose two frame s and s dash suppose two frame of reference s and s dash s and s dash where s is at rest where s is rest and s dash is moving with constant velocity v along positive x direction along positive x direction this these are the diagram for s and s dash uh, frame of reference now suppose a point p now suppose a point p is there in space and at t is equal to 0 time at t is equal to 0 time both the origin of the frame are coincide coincide and a light is emitted from origin a light is emitted from the origin so light will take time from origin to p origin to p is t for s frame of reference and origin to p origin Uh, to p for is t dash for s dash frame of reference these are the time taken so we suppose the time taken by the light emitted from the origin so if to observer so time taken can be uh, observed can be determined by the formula suppose this is t is equal to op upon c c is the velocity of the light c is the velocity of light op is the distance and t is the time for s frame of reference for s frame of reference then op will be root x square plus y square plus z square and this this will be equation of equation 1 c square t square if we here yeah. c square t square equals to x square plus y square plus z square this will be equation 1 for s frame of reference similarly for s dash frame of reference s dash frame of reference the equation will be c square t dash square equals to x dash square plus y dash square plus z dash square okay this suppose this is equation number 2 now if we using the galilean transformation equation then the one one coordinate system must be transformed to the another coordinate system so if we apply the galilean transformation in equations to it will be x minus vt x dash is equal to x minus vt y dash is equal to y z dash is equal to z and t dash is equal to t this is the galilean transformation equation we can apply this To x minus uh, v t ka whole square plus y square plus z square is equal to c square t square. This will become x square minus two x v t plus v square t square plus y square plus z square is equal to c square t square. This is equation three. So, in Galilean, uh, using Galilean transformation equation, the equation three and equation one, equation three and equation One are not similar because 
of the sum extra term minus 2x vt plus v square t square. So, the Galilean transformation could not transform from one coordinate system to another. So, Galilean transformation equation is failed. This problem solved by the Lorentz and give his own equation. He supposed that he supposed that that x dash is equal to he supposed that x dash is equal to alpha x minus vt and t dash equals to alpha dash t plus f of x and the remaining y dash is equal to y and z dash is equal to z is the same so no modification on the x and y uh, sorry y and z directions only the modification uh, made by the Lorentz is on x and x coordinates and time coordinates and t dash coordinates so he supposed that x dash is equal to alpha x minus vt and t dash equals to alpha dash t plus f of x where alpha alpha dash and f are the constant and f are the constant now now we apply the x dash y dash z dash and t dash on equation 2 on equation number 2 then equation will be alpha square x minus vt whole square plus y square z square equals to c square alpha dash square t plus f of x ka whole square then equation will be again expanding this equation will be this alpha square x square minus 2 v x 2 v x t plus v square t square plus y square plus z square equals to c square alpha dash square t square plus 2 f of x t plus f square x square now again solving this equation will be x square and the component of x, x square will be alpha square minus f square c square alpha dash c square and we uh, we collect the component of minus 2xt then this component will be alpha square v plus f c square alpha dash c square and y square and z square the remain the same and again we collect the component of the t square t square will be alpha dash square minus alpha square v square upon c square so that this equation now compare this equation with equation number 1 then we find that the then we find that the if alpha square minus f square alpha dash square c square equals to 1 and alpha square v plus f c square alpha dash square equals to 0 and alpha dash square minus alpha square v square upon c square equals to 1. Then equation 1 could be similar to the equation 3. Equation 3. So these called after solving these equations, equation 1, 2 and 3 after solving this equation we can find the value of the alpha alpha dash and f dash f so we, we find the values are alpha equals to alpha dash equals to 1 upon root 1 minus v square upon c square and f equals to minus v upon c square. So we can put uh, these value on the x dash and t dash equations. So then x dash will be x dash equals to alpha x minus vt. Then x minus vt are the same, but the value of alpha will be 1 upon root 1 minus v square upon c square. Then these are the then x dash value will be x minus vt upon root 1 minus v square upon c square 
and the value of t dash similarly the value of t dash is was t dash was t dash equals to alpha dash t plus f of x then it will be changed to t minus v x upon c square upon root 1 minus v square upon c square because alpha dash is also equals to 1 upon root 1 minus v square upon c square okay so this will be also changed t is equal to minus v x upon c square uh, upon root 1 minus v square upon c square and f of x value of f of f value of f will be minus v upon c square so the total t dash value will be t equal t minus v x upon c square v x upon c square upon root 1 minus v square upon c square show that the modification of x dash and t dash are these and so the total new transformation equation r x dash is equal to x minus vt upon root 1 minus v square upon c square and y dash is equal to y z dash is equal to z and t dash is equal to t minus v x upon c square upon root 1 minus v square upon c square so these four equation are known as the lorentz transformation equation these four equation are known as the lorentz transformation equation okay now if the s dash frame of reference again now the, if the s dash frame of reference is moving along moving along y direction now if the s dash frame of reference s dash frame of reference reference moving along y direction with v velocity along positive x, a positive y direction then the transformation equation will be changed then the transformation equation will be changed x dash equals to x only and y dash y dash is equals to y minus vt upon root 1 minus v square upon c square that means this these one, uh, 1 upon root 1 minus v square upon c square and vt are component at, will attach to the y dash is direction if s dash frame of reference is moving along positive y direction similarly if s dash frame of reference is moving along z direction then the z component will be modified then z component will be modified and x dash and y dash will be same okay now if the now if the s dash frame of reference is moving and with uh, some certain angle moving with some certain angle suppose uh, suppose is as this frame of reference is moving along um, 30 degree from x axis 30 degree from x axis then then the transformation equation will be modified along with the components of the axis along with the component of the axis of the cos theta with the cos theta and the sin theta okay so these are the uh, lorentz transformation equation can be changed with the uh, frame of reference where uh, the frame as this frame of frame of reference is moving no if s dash frame of reference is moving along if the s dash frame of reference this s dash frame of reference moving along minus x direction minus x direction then the transformation equation will be again changed 
in the form of x is equal to x dash plus vt x dash plus vt upon root 1 minus v square upon c square y is equal to y dash z is equal to z dash and t is equal to t dash plus v dash x upon c square upon root 1 minus v square upon c square okay these equations are known as the inverse lorentz transformation equation these equation are the known as inverse lorentz transformation equation okay students so these are the lorentz transformation and inverse lorentz transformation equations today we covered the lorentz transformation and inverse transformation equation and equation are changes if the moving frame are change means moving the direction of moving frame of reference is very important in the lorentz transformation equation okay so uh,